We're two guys that know exactly what it feels like to have a dream. We are also two guys that know exactly what it feels like to die to a dream. It's not a fun process at all. Uh, what we found is that having a dream is a powerful thing. But dying to a dream, there's no power on heaven and earth that can hold you back then. When you're willing to let go of what it is that God has given you, when you're willing to hold what He has given you with an open hand, that unlocks the power that you can live by. You know, if I have my hand open and the Lord places something in my hand, all I've got to do is sit here and hold it like this because gravity, a law of God, is holding it in place. God's in charge of keeping this in my hand, but if He wants to remove it, He can, or place it back. Now what I can do if I want is embrace it and not let it go. Well then if God wants to take it, He's going to have to pry my hand off and pry my fingers back in order to take it, and that always hurts. So we chase dreams, but we refuse to embrace dreams so that God can do with us whatever He pleases, we have to die to our dreams.